Because of my snowboarding experience and my exposure to all these snow activities, a lot of people tend to ask me who've never had any kind of winter sports experience, FJ, should I ski first or should I snowboard first? This is assuming that you've not done skateboarding, you haven't done surfing or longboarding or any kind of related sports on a board as well or on skis as well. Right off the bat, disclaimer guys, I'm a snowboarder. I've never really tried skiing besides grade school when I did cross country skiing on a grade school trip. But besides that, never done downhill. So you might have heard that skiing is easy to learn and hard to master and snowboarding is hard to learn and easy to master. So as a snowboarder, I want to go into that, I guess, a little bit more deeply with personal experience. So snowboarding for a beginner on your very first day is very tedious. It can be very painful and because of that, it could lead to be very discouraging after the first day where you might not even want to come back. There's a lot of reliance on balancing on one foot when you're first starting out as a snowboarder because the very first thing you do is you put your boot into that one binding and then you got to get used to moving around on a snowboard with one foot in your binding and then you're shuffling around trying to move around while you're in line to go for the ski lift and also when you get off the ski lift you have to somehow maneuver off the ski lift with one foot stuck in a board that you're not used to and the other foot's dangling so there's a lot of one foot balancing and then after that at the very top of the hill when you're about to start a run you have to put your other foot in the other binding this can be very tedious every run for most beginners they'll sit down on snow at the top of the hill to put their other foot into the binding which is fine over time though your butt can get cold it can get wet and so other people might try to avoid having to sit down every time and do it by standing up, which again is another one foot balancing act, trying to get your foot and fish it into the other binding. Either one of those introduces fatigue right off the bat before the run even starts. If you're sitting down, you have to then do a crunch and somehow get onto your board flat, then you can do a squat to get up. And you do that at the beginning of every run. If you're standing up, you have to lean over and reach down while balancing on your foot so that you can bind up the other foot. So again, that's a lot of core workout. It's just very tedious right off the bat for a beginner who feels very foreign on the snowboard. When you're a skier, you clip onto your ski. You're basically like that for the entire day. Waiting in the ski line, you've got two holes to help you balance. You're standing on two feet. When you get on the ski lift, again, you're balanced. Both feet have the same amount of weight with the ski, whereas with a snowboard, generally one foot is dangling. And the other one is carrying all the way to the snowboard. Of course, there's different ways you can balance the snowboard while you're going up the ski lift. Getting off the ski lift, generally as a skier, just point your skis forward away from other people. You should generally be able to glide off the ski lift without worrying about falling too much if the slope off the ski lift is relatively mellow. But for a snowboarder, it's one of the scariest things you have to do on the first day is getting off that ski lift because you're sideways, you're just not used to this forward motion going on one direction. And then you have to work out balancing off of that ski lift with one foot. If you're on a snowboard and you fall during your run, generally I think it's safer because both your feet are stuck to the snowboard. So they are maintaining relatively the same position. Even if it's a violent kind of a fall, generally your legs are safe. Whereas for skis, because your legs are independent, those can deviate in very many directions if you do get into an accident, which could introduce a lot of additional injuries. But for the most part, I do think that falling on a snowboard is generally safer. Getting up from a fall is also one of the most tedious things for first timers on skis or snowboards. Let's say you're a beginner snowboarder. The very first thing you're probably gonna learn is heel braking, which is on your heel side. So every time you fall, you're generally gonna fall backwards. And so you're crunching every time you need to get back up. You have to do like a crunch or a sit up and that's really tiring. <laughs> Over the day, managing your body to be able to balance on one edge of a snowboard is just that much harder compared to a ski where they generally teach you the pizza method where you know your skis are kind of coined as a pizza so you can break with two edges going down the hill and then you kind of just shift pressures from one foot to the other so you can do some small turns. Whereas learning to turn on a snowboard is one of the scariest things for a beginner. There's a lot of weight shifting from one edge to another edge. You're only working with one edge versus two edges. These are all the things that kind of list why snowboarding is harder to learn. But then as you get it, it is easier to master. And mastering is a very subjective word. And, you know, the whole point, I think, when we're introducing ourselves to new winter sports is to just enjoy winter. Something for us to get through this winter season where it's mostly dreary and a little depressing. I used to hate winter until I discovered snowboarding. And now I look forward to every winter because it gives me an opportunity to get on the slopes and have fun on a snowboard. I just wanna enjoy the winter season. I don't necessarily think I'm gonna become a pro snowboarder or a pro skier. 
If you're starting your kids out very young, that's a whole other story. If you push them in that direction as a profession or anything or a career. But for the most part, for people who are asking me, their friends are already introduced to either skiing or snowboarding and they want to join. They want to do it more of a social aspect. It's just for fun. So right now, snowboarding looks like it's the scary thing to do on your first day, but I would still steer you towards snowboarding, especially if you're relatively young. If you've still got a lot more years ahead of you and you want to make a decision on, you know, should I ski or snowboard? I think you should snowboard first because of the fact that it's harder to learn. If you're younger, your core strength and your balance, even your recovery from pain and from injury, you're likely to bounce back from a bad day of snowboarding when you're younger a lot easier than if you were to do it when you're older. If you're relatively fit, dancers do really well on snowboards, I've found, because their core balance is really good. That translates really well onto a snowboard. A younger, more fit individual is better equipped to tackle the first day of snowboarding. You are older and maybe if fitness is something you're not as inclined with at that point you're a little worried about your core strength maybe you're worried about how heavy you may be then i do want to say that it might be a better option for you if you're older to go skiing if you don't necessarily find yourself like you'll have a lot more opportunity in the future to learn something new maybe you're not going to have a lot of time to master anything and you just want to have something to enjoy the winter season then maybe skiing is the better choice for you as a beginner you can get onto the skis pick it up relatively quickly catch up to your friends on a social aspect you should be able to keep up with them better on skis because again when you get off the ski lift at the top of the hill if you're on a snowboard you have to sit down and bind up that other foot but if all your other friends are already seasoned riders or seasoned skiers, they're going to have to wait around for you. Generally, friends are going to be nicer to you and be like, you know, it's okay, take your time or whatever, but repeat that every run. Another thing I want to mention too, as a beginning skier or snowboarder, look at what your friends are doing or your family. If you want to save costs, it really does help if a lot of your friends are already skiers and they have multiple skis and poles and helmets. All the hardware you can avoid having to rent if you can just borrow from your friends or from your parents or from your family members. So it does help to have access to the hardware. If that's not the case and you're going to still have to rent, you might have to decide based on how confident you feel about your fitness, about your balance, your perseverance really to get through that first day. Some people might be turned off from winter sports altogether after that first day, so it's a pretty critical moment. It was painful for me. I had some bad falls catching an edge. If you want to look cooler, stylish, obviously again, I'm super biased, I'd say go snowboarding. You get more of that cool surfer vibe, but it's in the snow during the winter. Skiing, it's probably going to be easier for me to pick up later on as a second sport. I highly recommend you try snowboarding if you feel like your fitness is there. If it's not there, work on it. You know, do your squats, do some sit-ups, do some core fitness exercises and workouts to prepare yourself for that first day. It's gonna be grueling. Uh, <laughs> but what do you guys think? Have you come across any friends who want to introduce themselves to winter sports? What did you recommend to them? These are just the thoughts that I came up with this morning, actually, because just yesterday, another one of my friends asked me the same question. Her daughter, who wants to be introduced into snowboarding, she herself, the mother, never been exposed to it before. She wants to learn with her child, but again, start to question the fitness aspect and the, the energy aspect and the whole dangers and stuff. So it's tough. You want to promote your child to snowboard, but you yourself, if you're on skis, how much really can you learn together in that manner? Or do you want to be able to keep up with her? Because likely because she's super young, she's probably going to be able to pick it up a lot faster. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going. Thanks guys for watching. Thanks so much for your continued support. Hit that like button if you like this video. That's it. I'm going to go for a run. Hopefully do like 16 kilometers right now. I'm feeling a little energized. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.